This video outlines some best practices to perform occasionally on your DJI Flip. To ensure optimal performance and accurate flight with a drone, proper calibration is essential. I will show you how to calibrate the IMU, compass, gimbal and remote controller, when and why to do it. IMU stands for Inertial Measurement Unit. It is a device capable of estimating and reporting specific dynamic states such as angular velocity and accelerations. It utilizes several components of the aircraft like the gyroscope, barometer and accelerometer to maintain a smooth, stable and balanced flight. The IMU affects the behavior of the aircraft in flight, therefore it impacts the safety of your unit. I perform a calibration of the IMU whenever I notice an unexpected flight behavior. If the aircraft cannot fly in a straight line, doesn't maintain the altitude, drift while hovering, or doesn't respond appropriately to the sticks of the remote controller, the first thing to do is to calibrate the IMU. Another occasion for calibration is when DJI Fly App prompts to do so with an on-screen message. The calibration is also suggested after traveling more than 50 miles, after big elevation changes, for example during a trip to the mountains, or when the temperature is drastically different from usual. The calibration can be performed with the flip connected to a remote controller or a remote device like a smartphone or tablet. I will show you first how to do it with a remote controller, in this case the RC2. Choose an area from from metal and free for interference. Place the flip on a horizontal level and perfectly flat surface. Turn it on, making sure to have at least 50% battery time for both the drone and the remote controller. In the safety tab of settings, scroll down until you find IMU normal and hit calibrate. A screen guides to the steps needed for the calibration. We are asked to position the drone in five different positions, but from the on-screen instruction it's not always evident what to do with the propeller guards, so I will explain and show footage of the drone to simplify the process. We start by positioning it laterally with open wings and the camera facing to the left. We can then hit the start button at the bottom of the screen. To the right, a ring shows the progress of the process. The second position is sitting on the left side of the aircraft, with the DJI logo facing us and the camera to the left. As you can see from the footage, the left wings are folded. Position 3 is with the drone on its back, all wings open, and the camera to the right. Position 4 with the aircraft on its right side, the right wings folded and the camera facing right. In position 5 the drone stands on its back, showing us the right side, with the back wings folded. It is a bit like doing yoga. After the last position the aircraft will restart. If the calibration should fail, move the drone to a different location, far from metal and magnetic interference, on a perfectly flat surface, and try again. If you're using a smartphone or tablet, after connecting it to the flip, tap the setting icon on the lower right. Scroll down and tap More Settings. Scroll down again and tap IMU Normal Calibrate. The calibration window is displayed and you can follow the same procedure described above. The compass keeps track of the position of the drone and the home point. 
If it is not calibrated properly, the drone might fly erratically or crash. It also plays an important role in the case of a return to home. We calibrate it only when prompted by the app, or when we have not used the drone for a long time. The procedure is simple. In the tab Safety of the Settings, we find the option for the compass calibration, just above the one for the IMU. Like before, we choose an area free from metal and magnetic fields. Notice that the calibration might fail in low light. The aircraft must be held at a height of about 1.5 meters, or 5 feet, from the ground, which for most people is at shoulder height. After hitting the Start button, simply follow the instruction on the screen. First, rotate the drone 360 degrees horizontally. Then turn it to a vertical position and do the same. The maneuver can be accomplished by simply rotating the hand holding the aircraft. No need to perform complex circular dances or other dangerous acrobatics. A prompt on the screen will show the result. In case of failure, try again, farther away from interferences. Unlike the IMU and the Compass, the gimbal calibration doesn't impact the flight behavior, but acts upon the alignment of the camera. Anytime it is switched on, the Mini 4 operates a sort of basic gimbal calibration. A gimbal calibration is generally performed when the horizon is uneven, when the gimbal is skewed, often after a small crash or a hard landing, or when prompted by the app. In settings, we open the control tab and scroll down until we find gimbal calibration. There is a choice between auto and manual. For auto calibration, the drone must be placed on a level surface with open wings. The calibration starts immediately after hitting the auto button. The camera moves horizontally and then vertically for a few seconds, and the trick is done. A manual calibration is generally performed while flying. If we notice that the horizon is uneven, we hit the button below auto, and we are presented with two values that we can modify. The first one is the rotation of the camera. And the second is the horizontal alignment. The remote controller contains a compass to detect its position. It works like the one of the aircraft. On some occasions, we might be prompted to calibrate the controller itself by a message on the upper left part of the screen, of the controller. The procedure is explained on screen. It is very similar to the one for the compass, by simply rotating the controller horizontally and then vertically. With the RC2 controller, it is possible to summon the calibration. To do that, we scroll down twice on the screen to reach the menu window. We hit the gear icon at the top right, and then we choose Compass Calibration. Click on the link above to watch my video about photography with the DJI Flip. And don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Thank you.